Are we all gonna be billionaires? There are lots of headlines out there right now about this asteroid and this asteroid is worth 10 quintillion dollars. And I came across this on Facebook from Unilad and they're saying that this amount of money would make everyone on earth a billionaire. Doesn't that sound good? Well, I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen or even if it did happen, it wouldn't make any difference. And I wanna just give you a heads up because you see these headlines and I read through the comment section and some people, they're just not connecting the dots. So I wanna turn this into a basic educational video too, but then just also help you maybe help your friends realize that when they see these sorts of headlines, that that's not quite how the world of money works. Everybody just doesn't become billionaires in any worthwhile sense, and that's what I wanna show you here. So there's these things out there called yachts, really mega yachts, whatever you wanna call it, but some people, they just want those things. But under this whole headline, what just happened? Well, everyone has become billionaires. And when everybody has become billionaires, that means people can afford those yachts. And now right away, I want you to pause the video and let me know, do you see any problems right now at where we stand within this example. Maybe you've already noticed some as soon as I said everybody becomes billionaires. So let me know that in the comment section because I'm always kind of wondering how many people are actually connecting these dots, you know, or you know, how many people is this video gonna actually help? Um, so let me know, do you, do you see any problems right now? Again, please pause the video, let me know down in the comment section. So yes, all these people can afford the yacht and then, well, people are gonna go and buy that yacht. So those three yachts are bought, but well, what do you see here? you see three people disappear, but there's still these other people that want a yacht. Meaning this, money is only as good as the stuff that you can use to buy it for. I wanna say that again. Money is only as good as the stuff available for you to use it for. Meaning those yachts are gone. You still have all these people. If you go to the store as a billionaire, and this is what you see at the store as a billionaire, Tell me how much your billions of dollars is worth. It's not worth anything, right? Because, well, I guess I take that back. Unless you wanna buy them, buy the shelves themselves, then okay, I guess you can use that money for something. But besides that, your money is worthless. So sure, everybody could become a billionaire, but unless there's stuff to buy with that money, then the money itself is worthless. And think back to the yacht example. Well, the, the yacht company can, can make more yachts. Fair point, but what do they have to do for that? Well, they have to have a workforce. They need to have people that know how to build yachts and all that. But if everybody just became a billionaire, I mean, are you gonna stay at your job if you just became a billionaire? Well, in all actuality, yes, you are, because now everything is just more expensive because everything is gonna balance itself out. So you'll go to the store, and you'll have loaves of bread that cost $5 million, $10 million because the equation has to balance itself back out. So just because everybody all of a sudden becomes a billionaire, that just means prices are gonna go up. And in all actuality, as far as that yacht example is concerned, there would probably be a bidding war. People would say, no, I'll, I'll pay $10 million. No, 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 I'll pay $500 million. No, 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 I'll pay $1.5 billion, right? So that in the real world, that would have turned into a bidding war and that yacht would have probably sold for $100 billion. But just for example sake, I wanted to keep it under the idea that the yacht sellers would just accept their normal pricing to illustrate that there'd still be a bunch of people that want a yacht with their billions of dollars, but then there's nothing there. So are we gonna all become billionaires? I mean, maybe, but that is that gonna make any worthwhile practical difference? No, it, it would not fix anything at all. So if you see somebody talking about this or just in general saying, well, geez, if they would just give money to everybody, all the problems would be fixed. No, they wouldn't for the reasons you just saw here. So yes, maybe we're all billionaires, but that's not gonna do us much good um, as you saw. So let me know your comments on below. Did, did, you, did you figure out the problem before I had to tell you? Or were you thinking that when you read that headline, oh, how great would that be if I'm a billionaire? Again, no, no judgments on my part, but like I said, this is an educational channel and there's a little basic educational example here buried in as far as in economic terms, inflation and money supply and how prices function relative to the actual supply of goods. So hopefully this helps. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, 
whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.